hitting him and he's holding it. <laughs> Too hard to bend over like that. Okay, with all of these dies, you can make them into a little three-dimensional item and then glue it inside the card. And you might want to do that if, for instance, you wanted to just make a three-dimensional house or a cape or something that you were going to use on the table. Um, but with the beach chair, it's just as easy to make it in the card. So what we're going to do is find the creases that were made by the machine. doesn't really matter which way you fold them yet. You know, just find them. So there's three per arm. See, the machine has made that crease for you, so you just got to find it. And then now you kind of see, there's the beach chair coming together. We need a strong adhesive under there to hold it, so we're going to use our tacky tape again. So it might change the, the way it works a little bit because of the dimension of it. So, but glue dots, glue dots would be fine. Glue dots, you're I thought you were talking pop dots, but glue dots, yeah, it's good. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're just going to start that right on the fold there, and there's one half of our beach chair legs. And then here's the other half. So we're just going to make a little mirror image. There's our little beach chair arms right there. And now the die has cut our little seat back as well. So again, we're going to find the folds. And there's one that goes right up the middle. And it's kind of right between those two slats. So you got to make sure it knows. No, I, I really, I do. I want you to fold right between those two slats there. In fact, I'm going to fold it the other way because that's the way it's supposed to go. Okay. Okay, so there's a fold there in the middle, and then there's a diagonal fold. Let's see if I can find it. It's right about there. I'm using some pretty thick paper here with the foil embossing and everything, but I think I found it. Yeah, I did. Okay, so then that little seat back is going to come forward kind of like this and now see now I've made my seat back okay now on all my dies where it made sense I tried to use a tab and lock system so that means you don't have to have adhesive you just fold in the edges to make it skinny and then it's going to fit through the slot on the side and then you unfold them on the other side so now that is put through there and it's locked and we're going to do the same thing on the other side we're going to go right through the slit yeah, it's not white, it's lighter. Yeah. They sew it. And we're just going to unfold them on the other side. Okay, so already our beach chair is going to work. It's going to fold flat and everything. We just haven't made the arms pretty yet. Okay? The arms come up and over the top, and then there's one more tab and lock system. There's the tab, there's the slot. If I can find it, it is right there. And we're going to go right through there and open the tabs on the other side and that will lock it into place. And then we'll do it on the other side as well. We will just fold the tabs in, slide it through the slot, unfold the tabs. And this is all in the instructions. It has very good step-by-step -step, uh, uh, picture instructions in the uh, packaging and we'll have videos of course on the website and everything to be able to show people how to do this. All I did with those tabs is I just folded them now just to the you know flush to it and I could even glue those down if I wanted to so they're kind of out of my way um, if you don't like the way that they stick up. So there's your little chair. Let's see how it works. It's going to fold flat and then it's going to pop up. Maybe it's not reclined enough for you. That's what that final piece is for. This is, you know how you're sitting in the chair and you go like this, and then it goes like that? That's kind of what this thing is for. You fold it into a little eye, and it's already creased and everything for you, so we're going to need just a little adhesive on the stalk there to hold it together, so it'll, it's, a, it's a little eye. And now as far back as you put that in the center is further back. Do you see how it reclines? 
So however much you want this to recline, if you're really doing a beach chair, you might want it pretty far back. Or if you're doing a chair like Santa's chair, maybe you don't use it at all. Um, however far back you put it is how much recline you're going to get on your chair. So we're going to put it just a little ways back. And actually the instructions will tell you to just add this before you even put the beach chair. You know, just when you're doing your arms, just throw the eyepiece in as well. But I wanted to show you how it works. Um, so I'm going to add it afterwards. And I just want to make sure that I line up the stock right on the fold of the card. So we'll get in there like this and try and get that center fold. Right there, that looks about right. Let's press it down really good. And then now that's going to recline. See how that reclines now? So there's the beach chair.